Hello everyone! Today I will be showing you how to download the PetriNet Plants PMP library and test an example of its applications. PetriNet Plants, PMP for short, is a formalism for high-level description of complex plants. Complex plants being the set of actions interacting in a complex way. PMP is useful to program cognitive agents such as robots, video game agents, multi-robot or multi-agent systems, among many other applications. We are happy to see you here and we look forward to seeing your robotics projects and other applications with the use of the PMP library. To start, we have to download the PMP library from the GitHub website shown here, github.com slash yoki slash petrinetplants. We're going to clone this directory into our source folder in our home directory. We copy this and we go into our terminal. And we first go into our source folder that we already have. And then we git clone this copied directory. And this is going to run until it basically finishes receiving all the objects. Perfect. So now we have the PNP library into our home source directory. So the next thing we're going to do is look into the GitHub for instructions. If we go below, we're going to see that there's a manual configuration but the best option is the Docker installation. This is because this is gonna have, avoid any conflicting folders or system requirements. So the best option is to use this Docker installation. So we're gonna click in here and we're gonna go below. The first thing you're gonna do to make sure you do the installation correctly is install Docker previously before proceeding with the rest of the steps. So the first thing you're going to do is create a playground folder in your home directory. This is going to be shared with the Docker container. Uh, this is necessary because you're going to write all your permanent files into this playground folder. This is going to be shared with the Docker container. And when you execute the, the Docker container, it's going to run into the system. So anything else, any files or, or folders that you might save into the Docker container will be lost once you close the system. So make sure you always save that into this um, directory, into this playground folder. So we are going to just do as such. We're going to go back into our home directory because this is where we're going to save it. Make there and then we're going to write this as such. In this case, you can write home. I am already in home, so I don't have to, but I will write it. Anyways, so you have your playground now and you created that folder. Perfect. So the next thing you have to do is we're going to build an image. To build this image, we're going to choose between two different options. We have two different Docker images you can run, the 1604, which goes with the ROS Kinetic, and the 1804 that goes, goes with the ROS Melodic. Either way is going to work fine. Um, if you have a 1604, you can also run the 1804. So you can just choose. Uh, in my case, I will just use the 1604 since that's my Ubuntu version and it's easier for me. So in order to build the image, we're going to run these commands. We're going to go to our terminal and here we're going to write, we're going to actually first enter our source folder that we just copied, the PetriNet plants that we just cloned from the GitHub. And we're going to go to the Docker and in my case, 1604. So once we're here, we're going to actually we're going to look into which images we have, which uh, folders we have, and files. 
we have the build bash and we have the run bash so of course we're gonna build the image first and then we're gonna run it so let's let's write build bash to build the system and now as you can see it's starting to run it's cloning into the petrinet plants and this is gonna take a while to run completely so uh, i will see you once this is finalized as you can see we have been able to successfully build the image now we can actually run the docker image in here but before doing that we're going to look at some examples the one that we're going to look into right now today so if you go back to the petri net plants github main page if you go below the installation here we're going to see the example so we're going to look into this example and we're going to go to the bottom if you did any type of installation that is not using the docker you're going to have to follow these steps otherwise you can look into the single robot execution the multi-robot execution and then we're going to look at some plants that are available that we can run these are available in the location rp underscore pmp slash plants folder and some of those um, plants available are, are here you can also see some of the structure of these plants how they work are here and then just some details on the bottom and how to quit the simulation so we're gonna go through this right now so first we're gonna look at the single robot execution and we're gonna to start the demo we're gonna run this commands so we go back to our terminal over here like we said before we have to obviously run the docker image so first we're gonna do run bash to be able to run and here you're gonna see now a new tmux session you're gonna notice that by this bottom portion that is green and here you're gonna see this uh, new window showing the session the first thing you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna just create another vertical window because we first have to run the demo and then we need to run the plan so if you don't know the tmux commands to do this i suggest you to look online to search for those but uh, to be able to do this simple step we're gonna just press Control b and then shift 5. so Control b and then shift 5 and as you can see we just created another window another vertical window that we're gonna use so in this first window what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the demo so we're gonna go to ROS CD and then RP demo and then we're gonna go to scripts the scripts folder and once we're here we're gonna actually we're, we can we can search what is available there the only file is this start demo which is exactly the one that we need to use so we run this start demo bash and as you can see we're going to start seeing some windows that are starting to open now you're going to see some windows opening here they all have uh, different um, output commands that are, are shown we're going to talk a little bit once the demo starts and here you're gonna see the main world, the stage basically. Uh, you're gonna see this map system basically where everything is gonna work. You're gonna notice here, there's a blue little square. This blue square represents the robot that is gonna be able to move wherever it can. And here you're gonna see this red square as well that it represents an obstacle you can move this obstacle wherever you like to place it in the map system so once you have this we're gonna actually run a plan so we're gonna go back here into the second window and we're gonna roast cd rp pmp where the 
where all the the plants are saved so now we are in the correct location and we're gonna run we're, we can show what is available here we're gonna run the the only file that is there run plan bash so in order to do so we will write run plan bash and now the second thing we're gonna add there is the name of the plan in this case let's run the sequence sequence loop sequence loop plan so we're gonna run that and let's see what happens so the first thing that you're gonna see is that the robot starts moving from the start position to an end location and then it's gonna turn around and move back The robot is going to continue to do this in a loop until you finalize the simulation to your own discretion. In order to stop also the plan, you can run here the same command as before, run plan.bash, but instead of placing the name of the plan, you actually write stop. So as soon as you stop the plan, the robot stops moving as seen here. So this is the end of the tutorial for using the PMP library. I hope you found it very useful and that you have fun creating your own projects with the PMP library and we look forward to hearing from you.